Today, I'm gonna to show you how to animate a pattern in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. In today's video, we're gonna take our amazing risograph pattern that we created in a previous episode completely from scratch. We're gonna be animating this effect, basically creating a frame animation and just giving each shape a little bit of movement. Now, you can download the PSC that we're using in this tutorial and follow along if you don't wanna create the pattern from scratch. This effect is so simple and you can use it for like intros and outros or even transitions for videos. There are so many different uses to a simple animation like this. We had a great tutorial. Let's jump into Photoshop. So here's our PSD we created from our risograph tutorial and you can get to that link right down below. So we have a background which is basically just a solid color fill layer. We have all of our individual shapes which we've made to have like kind of rough and jagged edges to make them look like they were prints. And each of these are in their own group there we go. And then we have our textures right on top. And the texture kind of gives it this like paper feeling, looks like it's actually printed on a piece of paper. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is get all of these elements combined together to make it really easy to animate. So I'm gonna turn my textures off temporarily because I actually want the textures to be uh, visible in the final animation, but I don't want the texture to move. I just want these shapes to move. So what we're gonna do is just take this entire shapes group and I'm gonna hit Control or Command J to duplicate that. And you can see we have shapes copy now. Okay, let's make the original shapes invisible. Now on the shapes copy, I'm gonna hit Control or Command E and that's just gonna merge everything together. Okay, so now we just have one layer. There we go and it's merged together. You can see there's some other stuff kind of around the edges just based on how we created everything but basically we have our core shapes and they're on a transparent background if we wanted to. So I could change the background color at any time. And of course I can turn my textures on over top of those as well. Okay, but for now, let's just go ahead and take a look at our shapes. Now for a simple animation, I just find like little rotations and moving really, really cute and super easy to do. So we're just gonna create a frame animation with two different frames. So we're gonna go up to window and down to timeline. This is where we do all of our animation. So here in our timeline, it might ask you to create a frame animation and that's what you wanna choose. So create free, or click, click, lift, lift, lift. That's not a thing. Go ahead and click on create frame animation. That allows you to create individual frames that we're gonna then animate. So we have our first frame and that's basically just this layer is gonna be our first frame. Now we're gonna make a duplicate of the layer. So hit control or command J to just duplicate your layer and then hit your plus icon down here and that's gonna be your new frame. So in our first layer, we're just gonna make sure that this is visible. Let's just call this frame 01. There we go. And on our second layer, I'm gonna make that invisible and we're just gonna call this frame 02. There we go. So you can click on first layer, you can see my visibility just changes. So first frame, I have frame 01 visible. Second frame, I have frame 02 visible. Now I'm gonna just shift click these two and where it says five seconds, we're just gonna click there, I'm gonna to go to one. So it'll be one second between these frames. Okay, now as of now, if I hit play, you're not gonna see anything different. It is switching between my different layers being visible, but I don't see anything because the layers are basically the exact same. They're a duplicate of each other. So now it's time to go to my frame two and start making some changes. So really easy to do here. I'm just gonna grab my lasso tool. There we go. And we're gonna start by selecting our first shape. There we are, and I'm just gonna use my move tool here. You can hit V to your move tool and just click and drag, put it wherever you want. And then hit D, Control or Command D to deselect. So now let's go ahead and hit play and we can see that is just gonna move. It's gonna go from one to there and back and forth uh, forever, for all time. So let's go ahead and do that with the rest of our shapes here. So let's, we're just gonna use our lasso tool to make them a selection, hit V for the move tool, and then I'm gonna hit Control or Command T to give some of these a little bit of rotation as well. There we go. Super easy to do because all these shapes are already cut out. So fantastic. It makes our job really easy here. Everything is basically on a transparent background. And then we just have this like kind of gray background that's coming in over top of everything, right? Or oh, on the bottom rather. There we go. All right. So we're just selecting out each one of these shapes and I'm just using my move tool. We're just gonna bring that down. So each one of these is getting a slight change to it. And keep in mind, all of this is on frame 02. The layer that's marked frame is frame 02. 
There we go. Let's do the same with this one here. Boop, we'll just bring that right up there. All right, we're almost done with this. It's such a cool, uh, such a cool technique that you can use on any type of pattern. Basically, a still image like this, turning it into an animation, you'll, you'll see it just really just takes a couple of seconds to do. All right, there we go. I think I got them all. If I didn't, it's not a big deal. Let's hit this play button and see how it looks now. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? This is the only one that's not moving. So let's hit stop. We're just gonna grab this guy here. There we go. Hit controller command T and just rotate it around. There we go and hit play. And there we go. Our pattern is now animating. It's literally that simple. So this is a simple frame animation. I'm gonna hit stop right here. You can hold shift and click on both your layers. You can see it says one second. That's how long it's gonna hold each frame. But if you want it to be faster, you could do like a 0.5 seconds, for instance. And you can see we have a little bit of a faster animation. Let's see what 0.2 seconds looks like here. Even faster. All right, that for me is a little bit too fast. I'm like, uh, uh, I'm gonna leave it at one second. I think this sort of thing is a little bit better when it's subtle. But remember we had a texture over top of everything that really made it look like it was printed on paper. I want that to come back. So I'm gonna go to my first frame and all you have to do is just turn your layer on. Boom, you go to your second frame and turn your layer on, make sure it's on. And it's gonna be visible right over top of everything. So you have your shapes animating underneath this texture. So as they move around, the texture stays in the same place and everything works really, really well. If you wanted your texture to change too, really easy, all you have to do is hit Control or Command J to duplicate your textures. Let's say I just want to scale these up and rotate it around a little bit. There we go. So just duplicating that entire group. And then here on my second frame, I want my texture. Let's just do texture frame 02. And we're going to call this texture frame 01. Okay. So here I'm having frame O2 visible and texture frame O2 visible. And then I'm gonna click on my first frame and I'm gonna have frame O1 and texture frame O1 visible. So now when I hit play, my shapes are gonna move. Oh, I just wanna make sure that it's actually visible. There it is. So now when I hit play, the, you can see my shapes are moving and the texture is moving a little bit too. So it looks like we kind of have like a different pattern without the textures just staying in the same place. And I actually think this is a little bit better. I kind of prefer this shape. And the cool thing is this is, it's a really big image. So, you know, you could hit, I'm gonna hit play here and then hit F for full screen. And you can see it can animate on a full screen. So if you wanted to put like a title screen and a little video or something like that, you can make your own animated texture pattern super, super quickly. And I think this is just so much fun. So now we're done with our animation, it's time to export. We're gonna go to file and then down to export. We're gonna go to save for web. Now the thing that I love about this save for web dialog is that we can choose to use a GIF here, which is super nice. You can change your size, 2000 by 2000 is pretty big for a GIF. So we're just gonna change this 800 by 800. And then right here at the bottom, you have your looping options. I'm just gonna choose forever. And we're gonna hit play just to make sure that it actually plays here. All right, and it does. Now, one of my favorite things about this feature is this button right here on the very bottom that says preview. Let's go ahead and click that and it's actually gonna open this up in a web browser. So you can actually see what it would look like, let's say on a website. And there we go. You could upload this obviously to social media and it'll play automatically because it's an animated GIF. All right, all we have to do is hit save, choose your file destination and you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I love these effects. They're really simple to do and they come across looking nice and professional. If you wanna get a free tutorial from us every single week, just click on that subscribe button. And if you really wanna take your Photoshop, photography and Lightroom knowledge to the next level, it's time to check out Flurn Pro. You can find more information and an exclusive discount right down below. Thanks again and I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.